What's going on guys, TBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today we're going to do something a little bit different from our typical gameplay videos. We're going to take a look at a quick tutorial for a new game we've been playing called Atlas. Atlas, you have the ability to actually edit your own map if you run your own private server. So from our server, we actually have the basic map downloaded, and I'm going to show you really quick how to download it from your server, how to edit it, and then how to upload it back to your server. Uh, I'm by no means an expert in this. This is a very, very basic, very beginner video to show you just how to get started on it. And then you guys can go from there and create bigger and better things. So hopefully this works out for you. If it does help you out, definitely hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see some gameplay videos. I don't do a lot of tutorials, but I'm definitely willing to attempt to in the future and uh, try to help you guys out as we uh, grow as a community. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, so the absolute first thing that you need to do is you need the GitHub server editor. So you actually go to the this website that I'll have linked down below, uh, the github.com Grapeshot Games Server Grid Editor, and you're going to download this file here. So this is the page that you'll actually come to. If you go to the link in the down there, you click over here where it says clone or download, and you go ahead and download the zip. Uh, you can possibly do it open desktop, but I typically do it this way. Download zip usually works out the best for me. So once you do that, it's going to give you the zip file right here that you can go ahead and just go into. I, you can use whatever program you, you use to unzip it. I just go into it. I'm going to copy this folder right here. We're going to copy it and we're going to place that on our desktop so we're able to actually run the program. All right, once you have it to your desktop and you have the little folder right here, you can see all the stuff in here. All you got to do is click on Server Grid Editor. The Server Grid Editor will open. You have Create or Load Project. You can create one from blank. The way I do it is I go Load Project and I use my actual file from the server that I have running right now. So let me show you over on the Nitrado page how to do that. All right, guys, so this is going to be different from server to server, but the easiest way to do it here is to go right on the main page for Nitrado. It's right there for you, right underneath your server name and server password. You'll see where it says save, upload server configuration, upload map images, download server configuration, and configure your cluster. This is where you actually want to go. All you got to do now is go ahead and click download server configuration. I've done this before, so I'm going to get a special number down here. It's going to say that it's cluster configure uh, in a parentheses one. We've done this a few times, so this isn't the first time. So now this file right here, you want to go ahead and get that file and actually move that to your desktop as well, just so it's easier to work with. All right, guys, that file that we just created now is on my desktop. Right here it says cluster and then whatever config in a parentheses one uh, JSON. I'm going to actually create a separate folder for this because I want to keep everything kind of localized. I'm going to in, in one area so it's easy to find as well as you want to create a backup of this map in case you mess it up. Although the, the original copy is still on the server so you have that as well. But you want to make sure before you start making changes with this you definitely have a copy of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into my Atlas map. We're going to go ahead and throw that in there and then I, I see I've already created a folder for the old map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a copy of this. Place that in old map. That way if I mess up that file is going to be there because that definitely is something. I'll show you later what a mistake map looks like because we definitely messed up our first time editing. And I'll show you what the uh, picture looks like here in a few minutes. Okay, so the uh, so you have it now, the cluster config, uh, the .json here. We go ahead and get our program, the actual uh, GitHub uh, island editor here. And now we're going to go ahead and load project. We're going to actually, uh, these are the ones that I've been working on within the program. But we're going to go ahead and go to desktop. I'm going to go to my Atlas map. And we're going to go ahead and click on that JSON. So that JSON will open up the server the, that Nitrado has is a 4x4. Keep in mind that the only part of the server that you can access if you run a one grid server is just that one grid. Now you can determine which one of those four grids you actually want. I can do a separate video on that if you guys want. But for right now, this is the grid that we're actually playing on on the channel right now. So here you go, guys. This this is like your basic, basic format. Now it's pretty simple from here. You can actually you can zoom in using the... Uh, middle mouse wheel so you can actually see it a little bit better you can move around the map like that and then start editing some of the things the simplest thing that you can do if you want to just change out the, the layout you literally just click and drag so we can change our little starting zone was a little freeport area I want the little freeports to be like way around the map so that way they're much much further from each other so we're just gonna go like that well, let's go back up top go ahead and move these around so now the northern, the southern, they're just kind of all over the place. And you can change that. You can also change the title of the island and everything like that. Just you have to find the island over here. Click Edit Island. Very simple. So the uh, so now we've kind of edited everything. Keep in mind that when you do this, when you actually move these islands around, it does not move items on those islands around. Which means if you've already built on that island, if you come in here and move this around and then upload this configuration, wherever you built will still be where it originally was. So we moved our island and we had right here in the middle was still some buildings where we were 
and my guy is sitting on top of a house in the middle of the ocean. So fairly interesting. Now, the easiest way if you want to just add islands from these other four regions, you can grab these other ones, especially the ones that are discovery islands. You can drag one of these in. Also drag in the discovery zone. That way you can get credit for discovering a new zone. All right? So you can drag all these in. You can add as much as you want. All right? Throw a bunch of these in here. Uh, I believe this one right here is kind of a cool island. And you can make it as saturated or as depleted as you want within the zone that you are working. All right? So we'll do something like that. Now, if you want to edit individual islands, and I won't get too far into this because I want this to be a basic how to kind of edit your island, a simple way that's kind of easy to understand, and hopefully it stays that way. So over here, you see the island that we're working on is clay underscore a uh, underscore, I think, tr. If you go over here, you can find that. C-A-Y underscore A underscore T-R. Click that. Click Edit Island. From there, you can actually change different things about it. You can change the size, the island name. So you can actually name each one of the islands if you choose to. Uh, that way you should get some kind of notification, especially for the discovery zones. Uh, you can change uh, different types of treasure around there. And there's some other things that you can throw in here, which, once again, I won't get in there too much uh, to kind of explain that to you. But it is kind of cool once you get into it uh, and start changing some of the things. It's been a lot of trial and error to figure this out. So hopefully you guys can kind of play around with it and figure out what you want. Like I said, this is just a basic tutorial to get you guys to be able to edit your little zone. All right, so we've, we've, we've gone ahead and edited it in a way that we kind of like, right? So we're going to go ahead and go Project, Save, and then we're going to save this on in that same file. We're going to go My Atlas Map, and we're going to save it under, an, I'm going to create another folder for the new map. I just want to keep everything separate here because this is, like I said, a trial and error type thing. We're going to go in here, double click there, and you're going to save it inside of there. All right. We can now close the program. All right, guys, back on the Nitrado page. So for this one, you just pretty much uh, go to the main page once again, and you're going to click on Configure Cluster. For the other web hosting companies, for the server hosting companies, I'm not exactly sure how to do it. Hopefully, it's similar or easy. Uh, but you're going to we're going to click Configure Your Cluster. All right, guys, once you go to that that page, you're going to see your actual cluster once again. We're going to click on this one, and we're going to go ahead and remove Server from Grid. That way we're starting with a fresh, so now if you load up the map, there wouldn't be anything. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and upload the server configuration. We're going to go ahead and go into that folder that's for our new map. We're going to upload that JSON file. We're going to click here, and now we're going to use that JSON file. Hit save. And now we should be good to go. Now when you do a restart on your server, it should load up the new map, and I'll kind of show you guys what happened with our map. Hold on one second. One last thing that I want to remind you of before you actually load up your own server. If you do change your map, keep in mind that you need to redo the JPEG picture as well. And then you can actually upload that individual picture. There are ways to do new islands. You can actually add new islands, but you need to kind of understand a lot of the different settings inside here. It is a little more difficult, but you can also work from a lot of these different uh, standard ones over here too and edit those. And I find that to be a lot easier. There are also ways to edit buildings and other things within the islands. Once again, I didn't want this to be a... Uh, overly uh, difficult tutorial. Hopefully it's just kind of simple to get you guys through this and get you guys rolling in the right direction. So make sure you do some kind of JPEG of this. Uh, I just did a screenshot. Literally just took a screenshot of my desktop, went in and edited the photo down to this little square here, uploaded that JPEG. That way my proper map shows uh, when I'm playing the game. Now that I've just edited the map and I haven't changed it again, it will be incorrect when I get in the game. But let me show you guys in game real quick what happened to our map. All right, guys, so here we are back in game. You can see that where our buildings were, there's no longer an island. So the, uh, luckily I was on a ship. I wasn't out in the water or anything like that. Our ship's kind of out there a little ways now. So what, what we've done now is you can see all the different islands are kind of spread out now. And if we actually flew around the map, you can actually see them. Now, this is before I edit the actual map. So let me show you inside of here. So map, we'll go ahead and zoom in on that. I'll get out of K-mode here. So you can see that it still thinks the island is right here. Clearly, that's not a thing, uh, but our buildings still are. So keep in mind that if you move stuff, you would have some weird water base. So I guess this is kind of a weird way to build a water base in-game, right? But you can see the islands off in the distance. That's one of the custom islands we brought in. That is the, I think that's Freeport right there. That is a Freeport. That's a Freeport. And then everything else that's on here is a custom island that we drug from one of the other zones. So kind of cool. Just gives you an idea that you guys can really change the map. It really opens up a lot of possibilities for this game. And hopefully eventually we'll start seeing a whole bunch of custom maps that people can download. So there you go, guys. Wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial. Hopefully it helps you out. I'm enjoying this game a lot. I know it gets a lot of a lot of flack. Even I've given it a lot of flack because of the launch. Uh, but there are a lot of possibilities for this. And I just read... 
that they're opening up for mod development really soon. So kind of cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, if it helps you out, definitely let me know down below. Definitely leave a comment, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you guys want to see gameplay videos or if there's other tutorials that I need to do in the future. I don't plan on doing another map tutorial. Uh, I think there's going to be bigger, better ones that are done by other people that kind of show how it's done. And I think once the community gets a hold of the maps and starts making their own, we're going to see some pretty amazing creations for these little one-by-one -one server grids or when they create a larger cluster. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much.